Building a creative workflow is one of the most important things you can do for making videos and for getting organized. And if you're anything like me, you've tried different ways of getting organized from using physical notebooks to using Apple Notes, reminders, calendars, so on and so forth. And with the amount of tools out there, it does become a bit of a headache to track everything in the video making process. And so last year I discovered a free app called Notion and over time it has quickly become the bedrock and the foundation of my creative workflow. And so in this video, I'm going to unpack how I use Notion to manage this YouTube channel and how I keep myself organized making videos. A lot of you people have been asking for this video. I put a video up back a couple of months ago talking about some free resources. And in that video, so many of you wanted to see my creative workflow with Notion and how I use it to manage this YouTube channel and to make these videos. And the main reasons why I like using Notion and the reason why I use it in my YouTube workflows is the three main features that Notion has. Those are tables and boards, linked databases, and templates. All of those kind of make up the foundation of why I use Notion. I'm going to talk about each one of those in this video. But before we dive into those, I do want to give a quick overview and give you guys a bit of a sneak peek into what my Notion workspace looks like. And it all starts with the main central area called Ground Control, which is kind of like my home base or my home page that I have on Notion. And this has everything I need for quick access, things like my content hubs, different areas, resources, or my branding elements. So let's go through this and show you guys kind of what I have going on here. And now it helps me kind of manage my channel so the first thing i have is an idea dump and this is essentially like a way for me just to quickly get an idea out of my head and into notion it's just a quick basic entry place here so i can click on the new idea here and i can type in my my idea press enter and it's been added into my notion board the next thing going down i have different content hubs so i have things like my youtube videos and i have my online courses that i want to develop as well as things for areas like sponsors branding my knowledge hub which i will get into a bit later on as well as people and i'll also get into that later on because both of these are connected and over here are the videos that are currently in progress and it's just the videos that i'm either writing or that i'm working on that are ready to film that have been filmed that are currently in the editing process underneath that we have resources these are quick links to things like youtube studio epidemic sound frame io thumbs up tv and get youtube thumbnail which are very useful tools that i use all the time and then i have my branding elements these are just like quick links to different pages for my logos profile pictures and my media kit and then i have my in progress knowledge hub area now a knowledge hub is essentially like like a dumping ground for things that you like that you want to keep track of or keep a note of for in the future now i am going to talk about the knowledge hub in a bit more detail later on but the first thing i want to talk about is my youtube video board and it looks something like this this is essentially all of the ideas that i have for youtube videos and where they are in the production process now when i make a brand new video it usually goes into the idea section right here so i'll create a brand new page and what i will do is i will open that page up and i will give it a name so i'll call this one my great idea and what that will do is that will just sit there in the idea section until it gets moved over to be written and when it's ready to be written it gets thrown into this section here so on and so forth all the way down the chain like so now this is just one way of viewing this particular table or this database is what it's called and that's one of the main features as well as like notion is that it has databases that all talk to one another you can view databases as a board or you can view things as a table which is another view that i personally like to look at or you can view things as a calendar which is really useful for youtubers because you can see when videos are being published when you need to film videos what's being done at some points of the production process it's a very very versatile tool that's why i love using databases when it comes to managing these videos now speaking of databases databases are not independent islands they actually talk to one another and one other database that i use all the time is my knowledge hub now i mentioned before that the knowledge hub is essentially like a dumping ground for all of the little bits and bobs that inspire you whenever you're not within notion or things that you find on the internet that you go ah that looks really cool i'm going to keep a note of that or an idea of that for later on and as you can see the majority of my knowledge right now is equipment because i recently upgraded to a standing desk so i was watching and looking at different things regarding to standing desks so there's a lot of equipment posts in here right now but i can put things in here that are resources articles pdfs books things that are helpful to me or which i'm going to be doing a lot more of in the future finding things that are helpful for particular videos things that can either inspire to make new videos with or 
things that can help inside of a video to give it more value. Or for example, if I'm using a video to give me inspiration, I can look for all of the videos that I've got from YouTube like this, and I can find every single video that I've ever tagged with YouTube or with video, and it will search it for me and bring it up for, you know, on the Knowledge Hub. Or I can look for a particular person. Now, that's another thing that databases do is they talk to each other. And I have what's called a linked database between this and another database for different people on YouTube. So you see, I have videos from like Matt D. Valor. I have ones from Sam Beckham and Ali Abdal. These are videos from these people and I have a database where I have made a profile of this person and these are areas in the knowledge hub where those entries appear. Now this might seem a little bit over the top but you actually find it's pretty useful because you might go right I know who that YouTuber is that's made a video that I like. I'm going to go to that inside of my people database. I'm going to go where I'm going to find that person. What video did he make that I liked? Okay, it was, ah, it was, it was this one. It was my creative workflow with Notion that actually inspired the video that we're doing today. You know, it kind of all links in. It all trickles down to one thing. And as you can see, I also referenced that inside of the video itself. I have a related projects and any video project that I'm working on that is referencing something from the knowledge up also gets referenced as well. So I can click on this and I can go straight to the script or the video project that I'm currently working on for this video. And it comes up and it's ready for me right here but diving back into the youtube video database because i think that's the area that most of you guys are more interested in learning about and how i make these videos now when i start a brand new video it comes in one of two ways i can either make a brand new video in the idea column or what i normally do is i click on the drop down arrow here and i click on the new youtube video template now the youtube video template is something that i've built over time that i've been working on extensively for the last year and a little bit i've built this template to match the workflow that i like to do and if it's something that you think is a little bit too much and a bit too heavy then feel free to dive in and take things away that you don't necessarily need but jumping back to my particular template here all i have here is I've, it's broken down into a couple of different sections and it starts off with all of the properties for that particular template so what it does is it instantly throws the video into an idea status if it's already kind of part way through the process what i do is i change that right here and i can say right well i'm already writing this video right now and i pick a writer it's either going to be me or my friend alan so i pick uh, me for this one now the sponsor is directly linked to the sponsor database that i mentioned before you can see the little arrow here it will point to that database i can click on this and i can find say this video is sponsored by so and so forth it will find everyone that it's sponsored by tags are things to kind of say what the video is going to be based on so it could be either a tutorial a short film a vlog tips and guide all those areas that i kind of cover in my videos are all listed here now a content tag is something that's new for me and this particular template and it's something i'm going to discuss a bit later on as we go down this template but what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this video an attention video and i'll explain why in a little bit filming date is pretty so explanatory it's the date that i'm going to be filming this video on and then the url of the final video goes here as well now when i start off every video i usually like to go through and make up 10 title ideas before i start any writing on the actual video itself and the main reason for that is that when you come up with an idea for a title you get your title ready for your video you can be a bit more specific and a bit more fine-tuned with the actual content of that video to make it more applicable and more valuable for the viewer watching that video so what i will do is i'll go through and make 10 different titles like this and i'll go down and i'll come up with a title here and a title here and as I go down, I'll find one that I like and I will usually select that title and I will color it green to make it so that it's the one that I want. And I will bold it as well to make it very clear that that is the title that I want to use in this video. And then when that's done, I usually then tick that off right here. And I'll do the exact same thing for thumbnails down here as well. I'll go through and I'll come with three different thumbnail ideas that i like the look of i'll add more if i want to and do the same thing for titles i can have more than 10 but i usually go with three to get me started and then once i found one that i like i do the same thing i color it green and i will also bowl it as well to say that like, that is the one that i've done that is the one that i'm going to go with and i will put the final title right here and i'll also add the final thumbnail when it's completed right here as well so everything stays with that template and with this video along the production process the next part of this youtube video template is the most important part and it is the story now i make a very big deal to make sure that the story is the most important part of the video and it takes up the most room on here on the script as you can see there's different kind of drop down menus here with different things that really help me 
make these videos so starting off i have two little drop down menus here for the different kinds of story types that are out there so there's a three act structure and then there's the hero's journey or the story circle which goes through the different points of a particular film or a story and kind of documents that in a circle format now as we close those and scroll down you'll see what's called the ice framework and it's the way that i break down the video structure there's the intro which is the hook of the video which hooks the audience and brings them in there's also the content which is the value of the video and then there's the end screen sales pitch of the video and i have little summaries of what each of these sections are it's kind of like my kind of guide for myself or if we bring on another writer they can look at this and break it down and go okay this is what the hook is this is what the content is and this is what the end screen's objective is when we collapse all that we then have these points here that i like to address with each and every single video each of these points are important points in a storytelling format because it's addressing all of the main tropes of a video or of a film or of a story now what most people will do in this instance and i've done it in the past as well with this formula is they will try and target things like me or the viewer as the character now we've taken it one step further and we've introduced what's called user profiles or avatars into this video making process now for those that don't know what a user profile or an avatar is it's essentially a fictional character that represents your target demographic or target audience now i've made two of these for my channel we have youtuber tom and we have streamer seb and depending on the video that i'm making i will specifically add them to this character sheet of the story because i want to make the video for that person and i went sort of notion i have them already added so i just add youtuber tom right here and if i want to see a more of like a detailed view of this character i click on the profile that i've made for him and i can scroll down i can look at his goals his challenges his story the type of experience he wants to get from watching my videos and i can make videos that target those specific pain points and challenges that he's facing on his youtube journey now do you remember those content targets that i mentioned earlier on in the video well that is where they come into play right now over here on the resources tab i have these content target types and there's five of them there's attention subscriber experimental character and monetization and each of these is designed to fit a particular purpose now say for example this video that i'm writing right now is an attention video and its main goal is to gain views and attention to the channel and to gain subscribers and to generate a lot of hype what i can do now is i can look at attention as a category as a content target and i can say to myself okay what other attention videos can i make that will get the attention of youtuber tom now i can go into a lot of detail on the target types as well as the user profiles but i'm going to leave it there for now if you want to see more of this then jump into my twitch streams i'm live every single monday wednesday friday and talk about this in a lot more detail if you are interested but once all that information has been filled out i can then move on to the outline or the script of the video now it takes a while to get to the outline if you are doing all of those things but you have a better idea of the kind of video that you're making you're not just making it to make a video you're making it with intention with a targeted focus and it makes the video stronger and more valuable to the person watching and it's very simple following this exact same framework that i mentioned earlier the intro the content and the end screen it's the hook the value and the sales pitch all of those things are on the ice framework that i mentioned earlier one other thing i like to do in the actual outline here is i like to leave little notes for me so i remember things as i'm writing it like for example here be sure to place a call to action in the section of the video which is a great reminder by the way if you're enjoying this video and you think other people will enjoy it too and it will help them then be sure to give the video a like it really helps me out and uh, gets the video seen by more people so uh, i appreciate that but moving on let's talk about the final area of this script and this outline that is the shot list it's the production stage of this video and i have here a shot list that i use when it comes to making these videos and i put it right underneath the outline of the script so i know what kind of content that i want to grab and i may delete things if i don't feel they're necessary for a video i may not include a shot list i may not include a, a particular character profile if i don't feel like it's necessary all of it is very flexible and very modular and that's why i like notion for making these youtube videos and the best thing about notion is that you can start using this today for free and i've left a link to it down below in the description if you guys want to pick it up and start using it and use the template that i provided in your youtube video making process and if you're looking for more free tools and free resources to make making youtube videos a lot easier I recommend checking out this video where i went over five free incredible tools that you can start using today to make your youtube videos a lot better go ahead and check that out and i'll see you guys in the next video take care